Hello Aquapons Worldwide, this is Mustafa He is the... He initiated this garden in this masjid in Balad Bro, say salam <laughs> He's a little bit shy But anyway, so he has established this wonderful garden here in an empty plot beside the masjid what he had done is he had planted a lot of trees, a lot of buttonwood trees there's neem trees, some date palms all over and you can see all this beautiful adenium that he has been establishing and taking cuttings from growing them in pots like that over there these are adenium and moringa this is a newly replanted papaya tree and here you see a lot of sweet potatoes and malabar spinach we have just planted a few flowering plants there a couple of hibiscus a lot of portulacas the plan is to establish plants here that those are henna trees and malabar spinach we've got a lot of these uh, I think Lucinia or ipil ipil I mistakenly put on my first video and called it mimosa because they look similar we got plenty of moringa and you can see that's a banana circle and if you notice there are a lot of cuttings from the neem tree uh, which we are using for mulch uh, hopefully that this banana tree will get established uh, a lot of lucinia hoping to become source of green manure and to be used for mulching you've got plenty of lemongrass on that side uh, hopefully it will deter rats so more sweet potatoes you're seeing over there over there okay. are a few wing beans oh wing beans that he had planted uh, some time back and they are very well established already and growing Hopefully within the next couple of months, we'll see some flowers on those wing beans. A wing bean is normally planted in tropical areas and uh, I think he has done a wonderful job establishing them here in this plot. We are in the middle of um, the city center, which we call Balad in Jeddah. And I think the uh amazing thing that makes all these plants grow are the beautiful microclimate created by these trees that's a jujube tree some more buttonwood trees that will be put down a little later on as soon as we have established replacement trees like lucinia and some more of this camachile i don't know what it's called in english but uh, a lot of leguminous nitrogen fixing trees will be planted all over the place this is going to be an urban permaculture organic garden right in the heart of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Mustafa, by the way, is a graduate of, I think, horticulture or agriculture in the Philippines. And he is very well qualified and had a passion. That's a papaya tree that we just replanted. Uh, to turn an empty lot into a productive uh, and aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> hopefully, uh, garden. But I think that the idea is for it to be first functional. That's why he's growing a lot of food plants, uh, edible plants over here. Uh, this is a closer look at the wing beans. You can see the beautiful growth, long vines. It's a crawling plant. And what Mustafa is doing now is he's he cut a few uh, leaves from the dates uh, palm to cover the newly replanted papaya protecting it from the wind and giving it a little bit of uh, shade from the heat of the sun this is about three wing beans or four some more one more over there we just replanted some tomatoes in between the beans and that's a beetroot this is the pit for the banana circle. We are putting a lot of organic matter here. Cuttings from the neem tree 
some more cuttings from the lucine lucinia uh, some potato vines whatever would decompose and serve as uh, uh, to become a compost later on which will be provided for the plants here in this patch this is about uh, I would say about two three hundred square meters if I'm not mistaken if my calculations are right so we've got a couple of tamarind trees planted I'll show it to you later on these are newly replanted purple basil and a beautiful roselle or kirkade uh, that's a pumpkin crawling pumpkin it should have been planted in the more sunny area this is a beautiful tamarind tree there you go so I replanted it about a couple of weeks back and I hope that it will grow properly this is a mixture of salad greens cilantro uh, Swiss chards and spinach with kong kong in the middle sweet potatoes there and some more kong kong and I have planted we have planted here basil and pepper hopefully we'll grow later on those are more adeniums uh, all over the place so inshallah we'll keep you posted on the progress of this plot So if you if you know a uh, masjid that has uh, an empty lot that can be turned into something productive you can contact us at eu grow you that grow we have, we have a facebook page and you know my youtube channel and also mustafa would be more than happy to get those projects coming on going on we're trying to apply permaculture here in the middle of the city this beautiful uh, plot here so thank you so much for watching this is Yusuf for the Jeddah Gardeners Club and also for you grow thank you so much for watching